What is the value of the expression 48 minus 16 divided by 8 times 2? Which option do you think is the correct answer to this question? This expression has tricked almost 95% of people. Let's dive in and break it down step by step together. To solve this question, most people first go for the subtraction between 48 and 16 and they rewrite this expression as 32 divided by 8 times 2. In the next step, they usually perform the division between 32 and 8 and simplifying this expression to 4 multiplied by 2, which finally gives them the answer 8. And immediately, they quickly say that the correct answer to this question is option A. However, that's definitely wrong. Also, some other people when solving this question first go for the multiplication between 8 and 2 because they think multiplication has a higher priority than division. So, they rewrite this expression as 48 minus 16 divided by 16. And the next step, they perform the division between 16 and 16 since they believe division has a higher priority than subtraction. And they simplify this expression to 48 minus 1, which finally gives them the answer 47. Then, without any hesitation, they quickly say that option C is the correct answer to this question. But, I have to say, we were tricked and it's not the correct answer to this question. Alright, now let's go step by step together and I will show you how to solve this expression properly. To solve this problem, we must follow a rule that is called PENDAS. And this rule, P stands for parentheses, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. We should perform these operations exactly in order from top to bottom. Okay, according to the PEMDAS rule, we must start with the division and multiplication, because these two operations have a higher priority than subtraction. However, it's very important to keep in mind that multiplication and division have exactly the same level of priority. In this situation, the best approach is to start from the left and perform these two operations in order. So, first we perform the division between 16 and 8 and instead of the original expression, we can write 48 minus 2 times 2. And the next step, we should perform the multiplication between 2 and 2 because multiplication has a higher priority than subtraction. So, this expression simplifies to 48 minus 4 and finally, we get the answer 44. Therefore, option B is the correct answer to this question. Okay, let's solve another tricky math question together. What is the value of the expression 6 divided by 6 again divided by 2 divided by 2? Which option do you think is the correct answer to this question? Let's carefully go through the step by step together. At the beginning of solving this question, many people jump straight to the first expression, 6 divided by 6, which I have highlighted in yellow, and replace it with 1. In the next step, they go for the other expression of 2 divided by 2, which I have highlighted in blue, and again replace it with 1. Finally, they conclude that 1 divided by 1 is equal to 1. Then, without any hesitation, they quickly say that option C is the correct answer to this question. However, this answer is absolutely wrong. Alright, now let me walk you through step by step how to solve this expression properly. As you can see in the image and this expression, we have three division signs. It's very important to note that when an expression contains only division signs, we must always move from left to right and carry them out in order. So, first we start with the expression 6 divided by 6, which I have highlighted in yellow. And instead of this expression, we can write 1 divided by 2, then divided by 2. Now, we can write 1 divided by 2 in the form of a fraction. So, this expression becomes 1 over 2 divided by 2. Alright, whenever we see a division sign between two terms, the best strategy is to use the KCF rule. And this rule, K stands for keep the first fraction as it is. C stands for change the division sign to multiplication. And F stands for flip the second number. So, instead of the highlighted part, we write it as 1 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 2, which ultimately gives us the answer 1 over 4. Therefore, option A. Is the correct answer to this question?